Well, we know you have questions for state leaders about how they're handling the coronavirus. So do we, and when they're in our area, we don't miss our chance to ask them. Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul was here today to talk about that response, and it comes as numbers across New York and here in our area are beginning to rise. Our average over the last seven days is 1.4 test positivity rate, right at the line where the state is concerned. And statewide, cases, hospitalizations, and deaths are rising too. Now, part of the state's response is to pressure local governments to be more strict in enforcing rules. We asked the lieutenant governor about this get tough approach as we hold people in power accountable. Here's Dave McKinley. That we want to hold out the threat that there could be financial consequences. Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul is talking about the threat by Governor Cuomo to cut off state aid to communities where he believes local governments aren't doing enough to enforce his COVID mandates. He wants to make an example of the people who are flagrantly violating them. Cuomo has blamed local governments and religious communities for the outbreak of some hot spots downstate. There is now a sense like what else do we have available other than to hold the threat of whether it's withholding financial resources or to have a fine because we're not getting the 100% compliance that we think is important. Some have noted, though, that Cuomo loudly protested a suggestion by the president that federal funds be cut off from states that refuse to comply or even interfere with federal policies, notably regarding immigration law. State Senator Rob Ort in a statement said withholding local funding will only further raise taxes and is further evidence that it's time to rescind the governor's broad emergency powers. But Hochul insists that the state playing the heavy has gotten results in the past. It was only when he really started going into establishments with the state liquor authority team that we get more compliance from the restaurants and bars. Meanwhile, doctors at UB are urging the public not to relax when it comes to observing the current health protocols. This has nothing to do with uh, political statements, religious statements, anything else. Proper face coverings uh, prevent you from spreading uh, this coronavirus. More from them coming up at 6. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.